Hey class, let's talk about IAMs. I wanted to go back to the fundamentals of verse since my first video was kind of overlong and it wasn't very satisfying to me, so I figured I should take the time to go over each part individually and make them a bit more bite-sized. There's most likely going to be some stuff here that I've already covered, but hey, repetition helps retention. An I am is a type of two-syllable unit called a foot that has an unstressed syllable followed by a stressed syllable. It comes from the Greek, iambos, which in turn comes from another word meaning to put forth. And when speaking in verse, the I am is the most basic tool to put forth your ideas. If you think of a line of verse as a chemical compound, then an I am is just a molecule. But it's not just any molecule. It's the basic building block of all poetic life in Shakespeare. It's carbon! It's everywhere and can bond to everything! When you string five iambic feet together, you get a ten-syllable line of iambic pentameter. You see, in Shakespeare, a line of verse is considered regular only if it consists of pure iambic feet. Here are some examples of regular lines of verse. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? The lady doth protest too much, methinks. If we are marked to die, we are enough. Ah, plague upon the tyrant that I serve. How happy some or other some can be. It's thought by some scholars that the Elizabethans preferred iambic pentameter not only because it imitates the sound of human speech the best of the poetic forms, but also because it imitates the sound of a human heart. Titum, 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 titum. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks. And it is true that Shakespeare's romantic characters always spoke in iambic pentameter. But if everyone spoke in perfectly regular iambic lines, Shakespeare's plays would get old fast. But they haven't. They've survived for over 400 years. In the next video about verse, we'll start taking a look at some of the reasons. That's all for this one, class. And as always, if you have an interest in Shakespeare, theater, or wordplay in general, take a second to like and subscribe. Oh, and see if you can come up with your own iambic lines and share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.